back to behind the true biography. Bjork. What it was like for me to grow up in Iceland was, I think, a very wonderful experience. It was, it was um, I feel very honored and, and very privileged. I'm very much inspired by nature, the, the sounds that nature creates. I, I don't drive in the cities, but the cities are something that are very foreign to me. Um, it's like alien planets, and I feel like everybody's an alien. And in nature, it makes me feel like I can be myself. I'm comfortable. I come to nature for a lot of my inspiration and I like to mix the sounds of nature because it's very natural to me. Nature is very natural. For, for instance, this is a, a beautiful skin. I, I, I listen to the sound it makes and I record it. It sounds very happy. I take it back to the studio and I sample it and maybe I use it for my next single. I record sounds. For, for, for instance, um, I, I like the birds. The birds, they're very... One thing, one thing many people from the city don't understand is the, the bird. The bird is very free. It's very free. It, it flies all the time. It, it, it can go up and it can go down. And, and it flies and it, it makes me very happy. The, the bird is, is I, it's, it's a real inspiration. I, I maybe use it one day, I, I maybe I won't. But they fly, they fly for me. Look at all this nature. Look at all these beats. I think to myself, so, look at all these amazing beats that nature is providing for me. I mean, for, for you, but it's really for me. In every they have their own personality. Hi, Pebble. Hello. This one's the... Uh, he, he's got the, the bass sound. This one's got the bass sound. But this one is more like this. It's more, more tiny like this. The little rock, it makes more scratching noise. More, more scratch. Nature is incredible. And I'm so inspired. My name is Julie Kaufman, and um, I'm a reporter. Welcome to Thailand! <laughs> she just attacked me right away. <laughs> She's trying to kill me! Somebody help me! Please! <laughs> I still can't hear out of my right ear. Why are you all watching? Help me! <laughs> are you all so afraid of Bjork? Well, now I look back to what happened years ago in Thailand, where I, I suppose I killed somebody's hand. I don't think that I acted the way I would be proud, and the way that the Atlantic would be proud. I, I, I don't drive in cities. I, it, it's, not, it's not my element. We're at the ocean, and look it. I have a whole, uh, how do you say, drum section? You know, you don't find this in the city. I like to record because I, I, I will sample. I will sample, sample from nature. If I didn't know Bjork, I would say that Bjork is the child woman. The child woman who, who lives in nature. I am very involved in club culture. Um, however, I cannot go to clubs. In many ways, I feel disconnected from the world because of my fame. Could you hear the ground? I don't even like to use the word fame. I just think a lot of people know who I am. I hear the sound. You hear the sound? You hear the sound? It's the sounds of nature. Just the sounds of nature. I, I sometimes want to bring these things with me. But I, I respect too much. Something needs to be. I leave you, my good friend. So I can feel happier. It's very difficult because in in my job that I do, 
um, there is no, how would you say, training. Um, really, it's it's all experience. So I like to go out from Iceland and find m many different people to work with. And, um, and I work with people I respect and sometimes I date them. I hear the ground. Maybe I'll use it in my next singles. But it could be not for another 20 years. I, I'm gonna keep making music till I'm 86. So that gives me, oh, I, I think I got 56 more years to go. I was asked to do the soundtrack for the film. And in doing the soundtrack, I didn't want to do like those crap movies where you get a bunch of shit for soundtrack and it's just songs sometimes that are just right there for the movie. I had never actually heard of Bjork before, but um, I was very intrigued by what they told me, so um, I went with it. I felt that he um, had vision. And then I say, okay. She just had a really quirky character, which I found intriguing. I like very, very much the musical self segments in, in the film, because those are the, the parts of the film that I felt most that I contribute from the heart because it is my music. It was me shooting myself with my digital camera and I'm just getting the character through that. I got sticks. I saw myself in the reflections. Then I wanted other, other people to see me. Forgive your body, let it go. Bjork, it's like hearing chimes in a foggy day that are it's a little too loud and the sun's a little too bright, but it's so beautiful. I, I think that I may not have always want to do a musical, uh, for example, like Dance Her in the Dark, but when I did think about it, most recently in my works in Dance Her in the Dark, where I, I gave a lot of myself from my heart, I think I wanted to do it. The music in the movie is astounding. It's mind-boggling, really. When you think of it, how could one person think of that music? The second part of my process is when I bring my other crew of male dancers in and we start working out our moves together uh, in an organized fashion at first and we kind of like, it's free for all. Ah, working! It is free for all to see. We work it out together. It's kind of like being a, a little, little starfish at the bottom of the sea, just gasping for air, just want to get, want to get set free. And that's what Bjork, is, the message is, the music is. These dancers were just full on gusto. These guys were just boom, on their marks, on their toes, and they were dancing like you know, out of their graves, it seems like. They've been trained for years, 12 years, ever since that New York was with the Sugar Cubes. I've seen them, they've grown up a lot since then. They were all small boys. They were a lot prettier then. Now they're a little bit, a little bit worse, worse for wear. But we're working that, we're taking more, doing wardrobe and makeup. We're gonna, they're gonna be suited.